You ask a great deal of me, Sam. I know, but I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important, if it wasn't vital. Fine. Just this once, though. In the future, such things will come at a price. Resetting the type is neither quick nor easy. To say nothing of the cost should I be discovered. I shall not forget this kindness. Nor I. His work will see your last little bit of notoriety erased. Come, I'll show you how to leave now that order's been restored. So, now you've had a chance to see how it all works. Untoward actions will upset the citizens and inevitably lead to the guards being caught. Depending on the severity of your transgression, they may simply search a bit before giving up and returning to their post, but should you offend them severely or repeatedly, they'll become much more aggressive in their pursuits. I've shown you three ways to turn the tide. Remove wanted posters, bribe town criers, or visit a printer to create your own propaganda. This feels wrong. Why not just speak to someone and explain my innocence? You can't be serious. We counter one lie with another. Words on paper instantly taken as... Here we are. Speak with the harbor, my master, and he'll see you home. Thank you for everything, Sam. I promise one day to repay the favor. Oh, I'm counting on it. Like this.
Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good. But experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will. After the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him. You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Sir, please, help! He's going to die! Who? There's no time! Please, come! Under the bridge! This knobend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling? A knobend? You, because you are one. What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. I'll miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. 
There's something else you need to see. What is it? What is it? I was just thinking. An uh, asset. We have to load these all up. Take them to Big Dave, and then we have to unload them. Last night. After all that, it'll be long past time to... Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of his majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my wood shop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that.
from me, but I have them. I can't have a secret to be sure. Just get me a ship and a crew, and we'll find out what it was he held so dear. I met him once at Captain. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. I tell you, legs like three trunks and a smithy's arms. Almost broke my hand shaking it low. I did feel it then when I met him. No weapon made by man could harm him. Go away! Say, go away, boy! Not speak the king's English? Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore! Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy! The ghost of the North Seas! The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some, some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it, she, is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. I'll raise a crew. There you are. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works.
Time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. What, what, what little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars. About Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes. To ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience. Restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time I mastered them as well. Days became months. Months became years. And as my skills and knowledge grew, so too did I. <laughs>